happening, Magnus, right? So, I just got done watching Reactor Mania. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to join it today because I was working. But I watched the whole thing, and it seemed like it was it seems like it was interesting. Might have been kind of fun to be in on that. Only thing, the reaction, they reacted to me, um, reacting to the real rejects, doing my reaction. And uh, it was kind of awkward. It was kind of awkward. Um, I don't know if a all-in reactor thing will work. It could. Um, still not sure, though, because I don't know just the way it kind of went. But I was honored, and I appreciated that you guys all reacted to me. I appreciate that. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do, since this is called the Reactor Mania offshoot, is I'm going to answer the questions that they were answering on Reactor Mania since I was not able to join this one and hopefully I'll be able to join the next one and that way I won't have to catch up. You will have had me answer the questions that they were all answered, I mean asked and answered, okay? I would like to preface it though before I start answering the questions, I would like to preface everything with um, real rejects. Uh, you make a lot of gay jokes. And I'm going to watch you if I ever meet you in person. Uh, only one half of real rejects, that's the male half. You know, I could be hanging with you and feel a pinch on my ass and think it's a woman standing next to me and turn around and know it's your beanie wearing ass, grinning like. <laughs> so, I'm watching you, man. All the black guys pull their dicks out. These are crazy, some of them a bitch. So. Um, all right, so let me get into the uh, quick. Oh, you know what, too, man? I, you always reminded me of somebody, and I couldn't fucking figure it out. First of all, the first person you kind of reminded me of was my cousin, James Grizzly. If you watch my reaction videos, it's just you know, like he's got the whole scruffy, you know, hat, you know, kind of, you know, that whole, you know, uh, style like you. But nah, you just kind of reminded me of him. You remind me of Rusev. If you watch WWE, you remind me of Rusev. If you said, yeah, that's my brother, I'd be like, fucking knew it. Fucking knew it. Rusev and Lana, that's the real rejects right there. Except your Lana is uh, a brunette, not a blonde. Okay, all right, now I'm done. All right, so let's get into the questions. Let's see, how did I start doing reactions? By the way, the questions that I wrote down, I wrote down what I uh, could going through it because I was kind of engrossed in it, you know what I mean, a little bit. So I might have missed certain questions that they asked, but I'm going to answer the ones that uh, I remembered to write down. So how did I start doing reactions? Uh, a little while ago when Man of Steel first came out, I believe, someone sent me a Man of Steel trailer or a TV spot and they wanted to see my reaction. They wanted to see my thoughts. And at that time, I never put the videos in the, um, in the uh, picture with me because I thought I would get in trouble. Um, but for a while, that's how I did my reactions. And I started to notice, I was like, wow, like, you know, Magnus Answers and things with Sarah, you know, they were doing pretty good, you know, in other videos that I did, but I was like, these reaction videos are really generating a lot of interest. Like, people keep wanting me to do them. So I just did more and more. And at one point, so many people asked me to put the picture in picture. Um, and one of you had said to me, No, listen, it's okay. Gator Martin does it. He actually became big because of a reaction he did to Man of Steel. And, uh, yeah, it's okay, Tyrone, as long as you make it a, you know, a square you know, in the corner of your video. And I was like, all right, I'll try it out. So I did, and I've been running ever since. And um, it's my biggest, it's, it's the biggest, um, most popular videos that I fucking do. You know what I mean? Second would be um, Magnus Answers, and then all the rest that I do, you know, falling behind that. But those are my two biggest, so... That's how I got into doing it. Uh, another thing they asked is kind of like, had you seen any other reactors? Well, I saw Gator Martin because when the person mentioned him, I went to his channel to see him. I was like, oh, look, okay, he's 
yeah, okay, that's what he does apparently, so it'll be okay if I do it. Um, but I hadn't beforehand known of anybody doing reaction videos. I was just like, okay, you know, I'll, I'll react if y'all want me to, you know. Um, next question was, what was uh, my best reaction video? Or my favorite, I guess. Or, um, my best reaction video, hands down, has to be my Star, uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens reaction. I mean, I did not expect that to blow up the way it did. I mean, I had a good time making it. I had an even better time reacting to it. But I had no idea that that was going to happen. I'm like, okay, people are writing me. You're on a TV show in the UK. You're on the news. And you're this and that. And this column wrote about you. And I'm just like, whoa, like what? And my favorite part of the video was the beginning of the video. But most people's favorite part of the video was the Chewbacca. You know what I mean? So uh, it's just funny how you can create something and one part of it's your favorite, but that's not the part people really love. Like people liked that part, but people absolutely fucking love the Chewbacca roar that I did. Um, but um, that one is neck and neck as far as my two favorites. Um, because hands down that's my most popular but as far as my favorite is it's, uh, it's between that one and the Kevin Feige <laughs> reboot yo that that one it killed me I was laughing so fucking hard at that video you know what I mean if I had to put them in order as a one two and three the first one would be you know, um, the Star Star Wars Force Awakens by a nose. Second would be the Kevin Feige uh, Spider-Man reboot reaction, whatever it was titled. And the third would be China twerking. China killed me. China killed me. I was, oh my God, I could, <laughs> that video, <laughs> she killed me in that video, man. Um, uh, what else do I do? What is my regular job? Um, my regular job is I sell organic food for home delivery. I come out to your house, I plan a menu for you, and I deliver, literally, um, I don't deliver, but the delivery men deliver six months worth of food to your home. And uh, it's pretty cool. I like it. Um, but this is my career. This is what I do. This is what I love. This is my passion. And part of the reason why I don't do this full time is because I am part of a YouTube, uh, uh, what do they call it? network. And the network takes a share of what I earn while trying to, I guess, help manage me and promote me. But I'm noticing at this point, at least in my career, it's not worth it. I need to get a lot more views before it would be worth it for me to join one of those networks. So I think personally this year, I'm going to cancel my contract and then I'm gonna go it alone, which is me and YouTube. And then later on, maybe if I decide, if I feel as though it will help propel me to new heights, maybe I'll rejoin the community. But right now, the advantages aren't really a good payoff for me. Um, the Real Rejects mentioned that, hey, YouTube supports him. It would support me if I was able to claim the um, the money that they take that they take as their cut for helping manage me and promote me. It's not really you know worth it for me right now. So sometime this year, I will probably quit my full time job, probably in the summertime around August, just so y'all know. Um, and then this will be all that I do. And y'all will get a lot more videos from me. Because <laughs> I love doing what I do. And I appreciate all your love and support. Um, next. How long does it take to shoot and upload a video? Now, this is the last question that I ran across. Um, and for that, a lot of them were like, you know, half hour, hour. I'm like, God damn, it takes them that long. But... I noticed that um, some of them do jump cuts and stuff like that. So 
Yeah, it always took me longer when I was doing edits like that, where I was jump cutting. If you watch, if you go back to the beginning, when I started making videos, you see jump cuts in there. You see a lot of jump cuts. And I just, at one point I said, you know what, I'm not jump cutting anymore. I'm just going to be me. I'm going to let them see me say, um, and what, and uh, and stutter, and just be me. I think there's something in letting people see you, okay? Nothing wrong with jump cuts. Jeremy Johns, who they talked about in there, uses jump cuts all the time. Jenna Marbles uses jump cuts, and they are very successful at what they do. There's nothing wrong with it. I just want to bring you me being me, okay? And plus, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it's a little bit irritating editing those jump cuts. I don't mind doing jump cuts, but sometimes I'm just like, you know what? Ugh. So, um, and it shows that you guys still love what I do, even though I don't have jump cuts in my videos. Now, something else they talked about in the uh, Reactor Mania was that some people don't realize how hard it is to kind of genuinely be yourself and react because you think because maybe you're reacting that people expect something out of you. And I think Real Rejects was saying that if you too wild, you know, in your reaction, they say fake. But if you're too, you know, calm with your reaction, <laughs> they say it was boring. As you know me, um, I, I, I've actually never gotten a fake um, comment, I don't think. Um, and if they did say something was fit, oh, yeah, actually, I did. I got one. I do remember getting one. And um, oh, I just, you know, I, I never respond to trolls anymore, you know. But that time I said, um, I said, you know, I just said, ask any of my friends. It's me. You know what I mean? And you know what I find very interesting? A lot of my friends don't watch my reaction videos. It's almost, I, you know, I, I truly think it's because it's like, they, they know me, you know, like if I want to talk to Tyrone, see Tyrone, I go to, you know, I, I give him a call, I'll talk to him. But what I've noticed is recently, more and more of my friends have started to watch my videos. So I don't know if I'm catching on or if they just want to see like, wow, like, you know, I'll post fan art. And I'll say things about how the channel is and that article movie pilot wrote about me. I should be in movies. I think people are becoming more interested because I'm becoming bigger. And they're kind of like, hmm, hmm, what's Tyrone doing today? So it's true. There is something about being yourself and coming off as legit and real in a reaction that helps um, sell you to people. You know, it says, you know, like this guy's genuine. With this internet age and how so many things are faked and a hoax, we want to be entertained by someone who is real. And I believe that all the reactors on here are real when they are reacting. You get what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, you know, um, yeah, sorry I missed Reactor Mania. You know, it, it, it did look like it was really uh, an interesting get together. And, uh, yeah, you know, um, maybe I'll be able to join y'all next time, okay? Uh, I think that's about it. Okay, now, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the like button, all right? And say it with me as I wait for the delivery of my 100,000 subscribers plaque from YouTube. One million subscribers! Woo!